Hello everyone, Dev Jyoti from myvcdo.com and today in this video tutorial I am going to teach you about the elemental loop grid. This elemental loop grid is a new concept and it is only available in the Elementor Pro version. At present time by using the loop grid you can only design the post layout but in future you will be able to design the product layout also by using this loop grid. This is really an awesome concept and it saves a lot of time for designing the website. This loop grid also supports the taxonomy feature so you can easily design this kind of professional post filter. I'll show you all that's my request please watch this video tutorial from starting to end so you can understand everything. So that is my WordPress dashboard as you can see I already install and activate Elementor and Elementor Pro version okay. So now who are unable to buy the Elementor Pro version for them actually just contact with me with this number in WhatsApp. I will help you to get the Elementor Pro in very less cost. So as you can see in the post I already designed total 4 blog post. So now let me create a new page. So for that I have to hover on the page and after that I have to click in the add new option. I'm giving the title of the page as loop you can give any name. It's totally up to you. Let me publish the page and once it published, let me click in the edit with Elementor option. Let me first of all change the page layout. Let me click in this page settings and page layout. I'm taking Elementor full width. So here you can see this loop grid just drag and drop it here like that. So now it's asking to create a template. So by clicking here, you can create a template else. You can click in this also else. Another thing you can do. Let me click in the publish option and after that click here and click in the exit to WordPress. Even here also I have to click in this W option. Now in this dashboard actually here you can see the template option is there. Just click on that and after that I have to click in the add new. Now from here I have to choose this loop item. Okay and at present only post it supported so it's displaying post after some time elementor will add the product option also so the process will be quite similar only and here actually i have to enter the name so i'm giving the name as post 3 and after that you have to click in the create template option so as you use the elementor pro by default they are giving some default option so by clicking in the insert option you can easily insert the template else you can create your own also so in this tutorial i am going to teach you how to create your own post template so first of all let me click in this close option so now here actually i have to click in this plus option i am taking single row and single column next let me click in this and here the width i am taking around 424 uh, gap between i think 20 is perfect remaining everything i am keeping as it is and come back to the advanced option and here unlock the padding okay so first of all i have to add the feature image click in this plus option and here you can see the feature image just drag and drop it here like that next come back to the style option so width i'm taking 100 percent next height i think 526 will be perfect you can take anything okay and fit that should be cover remaining everything i'm keeping as it is so after that actually i need the post title let me click in this plus option so here you can see the post title just drag and drop it downside of the feature image i think it's too big let me make it h4 color also i don't need this color let me take some different color let me click in the typography i think 30 pixel will be perfect now for the tablet i think 25 will be perfect and for the mobile it will be 20 so now let me come back to the desktop device again and the font width i think 400 will be perfect text transform you can take whatever you want uh, line height i think 28 will be perfect and for the tablet device let me make it 32 okay uh, it will be pixel okay and for the mobile i think 28 is perfect so next again click in this plus icon i need the post info drag and drop it here like that if you want to keep them all then you can keep as it is like i doesn't require time so you can close that also yeah i think it's look good so next come back to the style option first of all i have to change the icon color so click in the icon and from here suppose i'm taking deep black color now for the text here also suppose i need this color if you want to change the typography always you can do it suppose i'm taking 14 pixel and wait i think 300 will be perfect for that transform that will be capitalized line height line height let me make it 1em uh, letter spacing 5 pixel will be perfect remaining everything i'm keeping as it is it's really looking awesome so next i need the post extract 
so you can click in this so here you can see the post take it up just drag and drop it down side like that now let me come back to the style option from here you can easily change the color after that come back to the typography i think 16 pixel will be perfect remaining everything i'm keeping as it is line height i think 21 will be perfect remaining everything i'm keeping as it is so after that i need the read more button also so click in this so let me search for the button so here you can see the button just drag and drop it down side like that and the text that will be read more and in the dynamic tag that will be post url now let me give some style so for that i have to click in the style option first of all let me click in the typography i think 20 will be perfect now for the tablet and mobile let me make it 14 and font width i think 700 will be perfect for that transform let me make it uppercase style i want italic next uh, line height i think 1em will be perfect letter spacing let me make it 7 pixel word spacing 0 letter spacing 7 is more i think uh, let me make it something 4 next text color i think deep black will be perfect after that background color so just make it transparent so what i have to do i have to decrease the opacity now for the hover click in this hover option and text color suppose i want some dark gray color now if you want to add some hover animation always you can add so as you can see here lot of effect is there i am choosing float now border type border type i am making solid unlock it only bottom side i want the border so it will appear like underline as you can see border radius from all sides zero uh, padding also not required bottom side i think let me give some four pixel padding yeah remaining everything i am keeping as it is so now let me come back to the desktop preview so here also actually i have to do the same thing let me unlock it bottom let me take one and here also unlock it and unlock it button i think four pixel will be enough so now what i have to do i have to click in the publish option so creating the loop template is already completed now let me teach you how to implement this loop in the page so for that first of all i have to click in this click in the exit to wordpress so now click in the pages so that is the page i just created click in the edit with elementor option so now let me click in this and from here actually i have to choose the template so i give the template name as post 3 so here you can see the post 3 click on that so as you can see it's automatically coming like that so in this way you can easily design the post template by using elemental loop grid now for adding the taxonomy what you have to do again i have to click in this and here actually i have to search for the taxonomy so here you can see the taxonomy filter just drag and drop it here like that and it asking to choose the grid so here you can see the loop grid one and for the taxonomy i am choosing category so as you can see all the categories are displaying perfectly if you want to change the alignment always you can do that it's totally up to you if you want to style them always you can do it so for that you have to come back to the style option suppose on hover i want different color so click on that and in the hover suppose i want this red color so as you can see when i hover the red color is appearing so like that you can design according to your requirement and another thing sometime you unable to find this taxonomy filter so for that what i have to do let me click in the publish option and you have to come back to the dashboard actually so click in the exit to wordpress and click in this and here actually in the elementary you have to click in the settings option and in the feature actually you have to make some changes I'm scrolling the page by pause the video you can just follow the settings and make sure this taxonomy filter that should be active by default it will be default or inactive make sure the settings should be exactly like that okay so i'm ending the tutorial here if you have any kind of doubt always you can ask me in the comment section thank you have a nice day if you really like this video then please like and share this video with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest notification from my youtube channel thank you have a nice day